My name is Ollie Foster, and I'm 10 years old, and I'm a pediatric cancer survivor. I got two brothers. Eli is seven. Harry is four. I really like playing video games and Legos. As a child, Ollie was always very meticulous about things. He'd build a stack of blocks, and it was surprising how high he could get them at such a young age. And so that's kind of how Legos took off. I really like Legos because I think it's so satisfying when you put the pieces together and then it all just comes up in the one cool thing. He loves life and even if we're doing something new or we're going someplace new, he'll look up at me and be like, Mom, I'm so lucky. And it just melted my heart because this kid was doing such hard things at such a young age and for him to still find the joy was just really special. When I was five years old, I was like diagnosed with ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It was actually his middle brother's birthday, and we were having a party. And my mom and my sister said, you know, have you noticed how pale he is? And I said, well, you know, maybe, you know, he hasn't been out a lot. You know, maybe he just ha hasn't gotten a lot of sun. But I mentioned it to his doctor. and. Um, they brought him in, they did some more labs, they looked him over, and they said, you need to go to the St. Jude Clinic right now. <clears throat> and um, they took us back to that little exam room, and they broke the news. The things could just change in so short a time. You know, one moment you're, you're playing on the Wii with your son, and then the next moment you're told that he has cancer. It's like nothing else you've ever experienced the world just kind of stops spinning and the only thing that you have to focus on right then is how do we fix it? How do we make this better? Leukemia is a bone marrow cancer. It makes your body make bad cells and it kind of like invades your body, invades your blood. We stayed in the hospital when I got diagnosed for two weeks and those two weeks felt like two years. I had to get two shots on my leg three times a week because I had an allergic reaction to a chemo that made it hard for me to breathe. And I remember going back and forth like a couple times a week having to just get poked over and over and over and over again. I had 28 spinal taps. And he just kind of rolled with the punches. He just accepted it as kind of part of his life. He didn't spend a lot of time complaining about it. He got treated at the Children's Hospital of Illinois. The staff there is absolutely amazing. They really love these children and care for them like they're their own. If there is a silver lining to all of it is that you create this big extended family at the clinic that just loves on you and supports you through this hard time. Three and a half years I had to go through treatment for three and a half years. I finished on June 14th, 2020. And after I got through my treatment, I kind of felt free. Just like all the weight had been lifted. I feel great. I get to play sports now. He's just like any other regular kid. He has a lot more energy than he did before. It's great to see him running around, keeping up with everybody. If you saw him on the street today, you'd have no idea that he is a pediatric cancer survivor. I'm so excited to be the new National Youth Ambassador for Hyundai Hope on Wheels. Title. And maybe I'm going to be famous someday. <laughs> a lesson that I learned from him is just to try and find joy in those small things. It doesn't help to just dwell on how bad things might seem. It's always good to find those little nuggets of joy in things. You can be scared and still be brave, and you can be frightened and do it anyway. I'm so excited to do this because I want to share my story. I'd like to try to inspire my brothers, and I hope it brings hope to other kids with cancer. <laughs>